Hey guys, uh, my name is Brett Wheaton. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Helio Seneca here at Core Combat Sports, and I wanted to show you guys uh, a series from standing that I've been having some success with lately and walk you through it. I'll show it to you first, stand speed. All right, so what's happening here is my opponent's in a really low crouching stance, and I don't know if the second I touch him, he's gonna pull guard, or if he's a wrestler and he's gonna shoot in. Uh, as a judo background, I like to stand a little taller. So when I make my same side approach, my right foot, because his left foot's in front, I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna feint a foot sweep and give him a little bit of stiff arm action with a high grip here. Here. The idea being that if I pull, if he pulls guard now, I've got some forward momentum, I'll likely get two points in the tournament. Uh, but it just puts me a step ahead instead of just sort of passively allowing him to pull guard. So I find myself right hand in the collar, left hand controlling the forearm here. I suppose this grip would be okay, but I prefer a judo style three fingers grip here because I need to be able to just grab it. I can't, I can't fiddle around with the end of the gi. From here, you know, he's not sitting down, so he's a wrestler, or at least he's gonna try and stand. So right away, I'm gonna snap him down and even drop to my knees if I need to, because I need him to stand up so I can throw. So as soon as I make my approach and he doesn't sit down, we're here, I drop down. Right away, he's standing up. I'm not gonna stand up with him. As he stands up, I bring my left foot tight, and I'm gonna lay my body perpendicular to his body as I plant my foot in the belly. The most important detail here is that my collar side hand is making an upright row pulling him over my face nice and high. And I guide him over to the left. Do not take him straight over like a regular tumwanaga. This is yoko tumwanaga. It's a side sacrifice throw. I'm going to always use my momentum here to roll up into me on belly room. And I have a lot of success with this takedown because people think you're pulling guard. In fact, if I mess this up and he drops his hips and I did the throw wrong, I have him kind of stretched out here. This is a nice guard pull. I can start attacking, I can start uh, overextending his arms and disrupting his balance. So the reason I've had so much success with this throw is I like the, the options that happen if I mess it up. So one more time. Thanks so much.